Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to make a shader that randomly assigns different images to windows. I made it so you can use one image and manipulate the UVS, instead of having to handle a lot of different image texture nodes. The idea is that UV space goes from 0 to 1 in both directions starting from the left bottom corner. If you have a face UV map to cover the whole UV space you can scale it down by a factor resulting from the number of tiles used. In this case 8. Then you can move the face in increments of 0.125 to cover different spots of the UV space. Here I have a scene with a grid of squares the same count as the UV grid. Each face is mapped to cover the whole UV space. With Node Wrangler enabled, select the Image Texture node and press Ctrl T. Add a Vector Math node and change the type to Scale in the drop-down. Scale to 0 0.125. Now you can move it with the location values. To manipulate the axes independently add a Combine XYZ node. Since I want to move in increments of 0.125 I add a math node, set to multiply with a factor of 0.125. Because the value node is a float, I have to duplicate the math node and set it to snap with a value of 1. Now I can move on both axes in the right increments independently. For the next step I need cycles because in order to get random values I need the geometry node, which only works in cycles. I get rid of the value nodes because they were only for demonstration purposes. Since the random per island outputs values from 0 to 1 you need to remap them with a map range node to match the number of tiles. Now you see every face has a random square assigned. Checking the outputs of the different nodes you can see the tree results in grey values stacked in increments of 0 0.125. I used Affinity Photo to create a document with 1024 by 1024 and guides to snap the images to. The idea behind it is that by making everything square it doesn't matter what the window geometry looks like the texture will always be stretched to fit it. So I took an image downloaded from textures.com and cut out some windows and resized them into squares. For demonstration purposes I also added colored squares to clarify how you can adjust which UV space is used. To create the model I imported the same image with images as planes and used box cutter to cut out and separate the window geometry.
Then I used the add-on text tools, which is free, first in island selection mode. Select everything underline in the bottom left corner. Then make sure the constraint to image bounds is checked and then change to vertex selection and move to the origin. Then press fill and align all the vertices to fill the bounds. Then I assign the shader and you can see that the UVs are oriented the wrong way for whatever reason. That is easy to fix by pressing rotate negative 90. Now I assign the image created in Affinity Photo. I adjust the values because there are only 4 by 4 squares. If I play with the min-max values the problem is that both axes are changed simultaneously. To control them separately I duplicate the map range node. Next I demonstrate how you can control which UV space you want to use. I hope you found the video useful and if so please consider liking and subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye.